Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for your time. And I'm uh, glad that I have this uh, opportunity uh, to uh, uh, speak about uh, Ebola. Uh, we have uh, just uh, had an in-depth and in extensive uh, discussions among the chief executives of the United Nations uh, system uh, on Ebola. Uh, we are determined to do everything in our power uh, to help the affected countries uh, to stop the outbreak of Ebola, uh, treat the infected uh, people, and ensure that all the essential services are provided, and preserve the stability of the country, and prevent uh, further outbreaks uh, in the country, as well as prevent the further spread to other countries out of uh, those uh, countries. Uh, results to date are uneven. The rate of transmission continues to increase in many uh, places. We need more international responders, trained medical teams, and volunteer health workers, especially in remote uh, districts. And we need to avoid the travel bans, discrimination against the health workers, and other steps that would isolate uh, countries when they need help most. There has been some uh, welcome progress where the Ebola response strategy is implemented. Uh, the rate of new cases uh, appears to be uh, slowing. Uh, we are seeing the curve bending in enough places to give us hope. There are three main reasons. First, the efforts of the affected the governments and local uh, communities are working in close coordination with the United Nations system. Uh, people are taking action to protect themselves and their family members. The proportion of safe burial has rapidly improved, especially in Liberia. Uh, second, there is a greater capacity for treating people. Uh, there is more case identification and contact tracing. I thank the many countries of international community that are making life-saving uh, contributions. I thought the entire United Nations system is uh, fully mobilized. The UN mission for Ebola emergency response, UNMIA, continues to uh, support the affected countries in managing uh, this uh, crisis. The World Health Organization, WHO, is providing uh, strategic guidance. The World Bank is providing crucial resources. And all UN agencies, funds and programs in the affected region, as well as the UN peacekeeping operation in Liberia, uh, continue to provide assistance. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the new chain of uh, transmission in Mali uh, is a cause of deep concern. We are translating the lessons we are already learned. We have already learned from the Ebola outbreak in all, into early action to mitigate against the further spread in Mali. The Malian authorities have demonstrated great leadership and resilience since the onset of outbreak. They have requested Unmir's assistance. I have just spoken to. Uh, President Keita of Mali about uh, half an hour ago and informed him that uh, as a way to show our solidarity and unity and immediate uh, support, the Dr. Margaret Chan, the Director General of the World uh, Health Organization, and Dr. Michel Sidibe of UNAID Executive Director are traveling to Mali immediately this afternoon. Uh, they will have uh, in-depth discussions how the United Nations system can help uh, eradicate this and prevent the further outbreak in uh, Mali. At the same time, <clears throat> I have instructed the head of UNMIR, uh, Tony Bambury, to establish on an urgent basis a United Nations uh, support mission in Mali. And uh, pending the establishment of uh, uh, this UNMIR mission in uh, Mali, I have designated upon agreement of uh, President Keita, uh, WHO uh, direct, country director 
in Mali, uh, Dr. Ibrahima Sosel Fall, uh, as uh, representative of UNMIR. Decisive national action combined with international support uh, today will help to prevent a spread of the outbreak in Mali uh, to crisis proportions tomorrow. Even as we focus on the immediate threats, it is not too soon to start working on recovery. The consequences of Ebola will long last the outbreak. Ebola has had the significant impact on health care, education, and food security. Trade has suffered, businesses have closed. The affected countries will need assistance long after uh, the crisis has passed. <clears throat> if we continue to accelerate our response, we can contain and end the outbreak uh, by the middle of next year. I appeal to the international community to stay engaged and we hope the continued support, funding and logistics and personnel support, particularly health workers, will continue to be provided. The United Nations system will continue to scale up our response until the very last case of Ebola is identified and treated. Uh, thank you. Thanks very much. Uh, because uh, we're running a bit behind, we'll only have time for uh, for two uh, questions. Uh, first, uh, uh, in the back, uh, NPR, Jason. Hi, I'm Jason Bobian with National Public Radio. Um, do you feel like this outbreak has taken a turn around the corner and that you actually are on top of it? Uh, the president of Liberia has said that they now have the upper hand with Ebola. Is it your sense that the UN system and the authorities have the upper hand now on this outbreak? I will have a preliminary uh, uh, answer, but I would like to have uh, Dr. Margaret Chan to have uh, uh, more uh, a detailed and professional answer. As I said earlier in my remarks, uh, where our treatment and the massive uh, support has been working, we see definitely the bending of this uh, current curve. That is quite uh, encouraging one. But as I said again, there are some other places, particularly in remote areas, uh, still we see the cases are increasing. But overall, we see that uh, we are now able to see that uh, our efforts are making uh, differences. That's what I can tell you. That's why I'm asking international community to continue uh, their support. The, our experts say that we need to uh, have at least a five-fold strength and support. Uh, because uh, still, international response is outpaced by this Ebola uh, uh, spread. Now, maybe I will ask you. Yeah. I think you asked uh, an extreme. <laughs> okay. Uh, you asked an extremely uh, important question. Uh, we must not forget uh, Ebola virus is a formidable enemy. Yes, we are seeing some early signals of, you know, uh, hope. Cases are stabilizing, but as Mr. Secretary General was saying, we are also seeing some new areas where they are reporting new cases. So the answer is we must maintain our vigilance. Complacency would be our enemy. And in order to get it to zero, we have been successful in bending the curve a bit, but we need to continue to do more to get to zero. Second final question, uh, AP, uh, Harry Dunphy. <clears throat> uh, thank you. My question is for Director General Chan. Could you say more about Mali? And is the, the Americans have expressed concern that uh, the country is completely, uh, about whether the country is completely geared up for isolation, contact tracing, if the Mali situation gets worse? What's the latest on the cluster of cases in Mali, and are they prepared? Thank you. Uh, Mali is now, uh, of course, you know, attracting a lot of attention, quite rightly. Uh, we've been monitoring the situation in Mali for weeks. And because, you know, the first case coming across the border was a two-and-a-half-year-old girl. And uh, that elicited about 120 contacts 
that we've been following. Now, the first imported case and the 120 contacts have already passed the 21 days. So that means Mali has been <coughs> successful in managing that outbreak. Now, the concern, quite rightly, is because there is a second case, is a grand iman coming across from Guinea into Bamako for treatment. And now, in that situation, it has elicited close to 500 contacts that we are, you know, monitoring. I'm happy to report that uh, with the support of all the UN uh, partner agencies and, uh, of course, the government is taking the lead and partners like CDC, MSF, uh, France, we are scaling up our action. We have to really move with speed and scale and have a no regret policy. What does that mean? We must smother uh, there's uh, a little fire, a uh, little smoke before it gets out of control. And that is exactly uh, why Mr. Secretary General was uh, discussing uh, with the President, and we are going there to reinforce our support and solidarity with Mali. I'm confident that if we work together as one, we would be able to bring this um, you know, uh, outbreak under control. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh,